Hello, viewers. My Money Game here, and I'm here with the Gaia 2 Dual Saga. And in this episode, we are actually going to be fighting the um, boss once again. Because if you remember, we actually failed last time to defeat them. But this time, we're more prepared because we got, um, you know, everything we need set up. We got our, um, yeah, I refill our magic because we're going to need it. And don't worry about using your magic powders. They're expendable, if you ask me. But, um, I'm gonna be skipping the, uh, dialogue as best I can this time. Cat, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm actually in my, um, living room right now, uh, redoing the commentary of this file. Because it got corrupted. And, um, thankfully this time I found a time where I don't have to worry about, um, anybody, um, coming in and doing anything about it. Because last time I tried to do this, I couldn't even finish it. Ah, <sighs> this scene pisses me off. I mean, it makes sense that Maya would be like that. She seems like someone who would be like, look, I really don't want to do this. But what's funny is I actually have her and the group. Um, realistically though, it's actually a good idea to have her in the group because, um, you know, you can actually use your, um, you can actually use her healing to help you out. Which is actually, I still have trouble, like I did in the last one, but less trouble than I did before. And remember last time we chose the option that pissed them off, the option that we were going to kill them outright. And so that's why I tried the other option this time, to see what the difference was. And the fight does seem a bit, little bit easier, so it might be true that it makes it easier to choose the top one. And the boss music is the same boss music as always. But what I decided to do is try this first. And then have them do their uh, usual... Um, Oh, excuse me. Um, bearable art. Anyway, um, I really don't know what to talk about while I'm watching this, I have to be honest. I think I actually got a little confused here for a while. I was like, hold on a second, which one did I do? And I also realized that I hadn't put in, haven't done any hers yet as well, so... Yeah, I was like, wait a second. I <laughs> love that 36,000 damage, though. And I think I also made mention about how... This attack is so funny because when it first hits you, it doesn't look like it really does that much damage. Well, I mean, to Maya it does because she doesn't have the best defenses, you know, right now. But what I'm mainly talking about is how funny it is that it just does, like, double-digit damage over and over again. Which I actually mentioned that it actually adds up, I know, but it's funny that they did that. They said, oh, that's not make it do much damage, you know. I remember this attack is like very brutal what it does. So, yeah. Only one person does not get venomed and it actually ends up being Maya, which is kind of funny to me because I was like, oh no. It probably would have been better if it was like Sharon or uh, somebody else. But since I didn't have two accessories that did very well for having both um, Spellbound and Venom protection. I was like, no, it'd be probably better to just go ahead and uh, leave what I have and try again. Oh, I have this mosquito bite on my ankle and it's really bugging me right now. We can't lose. I can't go back to where we were before. When we lived in fear, 
persecuted because we are mystics. I don't know why, but I really hate these voice actors. Yes, everything was hateful back then. Mainly because I just hate these characters. Under his wing, we who were abandoned by even our own parents. Elliot, those people were not our parents. Only Doplin, only Doplin has shown us real love. That's exactly right, Marianne. Doplin is our one and only father. For his sake as well. We must get rid of this filth! There wasn't much like drawn out in that, so it's not really that um, scary to me, to be honest. Now, I was actually going over what's so funny about me using the final um, crush ability that I used them, like, you know, at the start. The thing that's funny about it is that there's really no point in using it. And I don't know why I didn't use that ability to uh, heal herself or Sharon, because. Instead, I decide to just have her guard, which is really stupid. Because I could have at least healed one of them and then her die, and then it wouldn't have been so dangerous for the other character. But I decided to just go ahead and do that anyway. Make it black. So actually, Maya, I think, dies from this attack. And then I end up um, in trouble for a further uh, fight because of that. Yeah, she only had like 400 something HP, so it took 200 plus all that, so yeah. Anyway, you see MP heal, that was actually Sharon that used that. Because uh, she uh, would have actually died as well, but she has that ability that brings her back to life. I'm actually, I actually doing my regular recording, I was like, wait, who had that? And I was hoping that it was um, somebody else, which is kind of stupid of me because... I should have been glad that it was, uh, Sharon. She's the one that's actually more important. Yeah, see, this is when you notice that Maya is dead. And Sharon only has like 82 HP, but she's actually not actually um, venomed anymore. So I don't know why I try, didn't try to heal her first. I could have had her heal herself too, but I decided not to. That sounded like something straight out of anime, which is so funny to me. Yeah, Sharon ends up dying and so does Mike. And so I'm sitting here like, oh. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it, what am I gonna do? Well. I actually get lucky, and, um, well, you'll see, because I haven't, I'm sitting here doing, like, deciding if I have the, uh, thing that, you know, brings everyone back to life. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? I'm surprised I actually used that line. Speaking of that, did anybody actually watch that show? I myself thought it was retarded. I don't know if uh, you guys liked it. I only watched one episode and I just was like, nope, not going to watch this. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think, though. 
I don't know what made me decide to bring that up either. That was the coolest thing ever, her able to like block almost all that. Since she's the only one uh venom, there's no way to serve like, you know, save her. <sighs> I think I'm I think I actually try to. As you can see there, I tried to actually save her. <coughs> and then for some reason I have her attack. What's really funny is that Sharon here, you should have her, since she mainly goes first, help catch it up with any uh, healing you have to do. I know it's very tempting to just have everyone attack, which is what I'm doing right now, but from watching this, I can actually, I actually realized that it probably would have been better to have her try to do something instead of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, somebody actually does end up dying from this, and that makes sense because I didn't do anything to prevent it. So weak. At least you get to hear both of their, um, you know, um, celebration that find out that you're dead. Yeah, and that tag goes through your defenses, as you can see. Ah, excuse me, I actually have um, some congestion right now as well, as usual. Not to mention, I just woke up not too long ago either. But I really wanted to get this done, so that's why I went ahead and started this. I was actually I was laughing to myself because I thought I used the Resurrect bottle, which does the same thing as the Revival bottle, more or less, but I actually didn't. You know, I know that this attack isn't really all that useful as you see there, but I still love using it because it just looks interesting. Yeah, as you can see now, we're actually doing a lot better now that we um, have gotten this far into the fight. In a typical boss fashion, I don't think they ever run out of um, MP. <laughs> don't you wish more uh, RPGs were like Mario Super Mario RPG, where like enemy runs out of the MP in that game called Flower Points, <laughs> and is not even able to do anything that round? Sadly, it doesn't work that way in this game. <laughs> Oh yeah, I actually show out the bitter seed. I don't even know what it does. And if you do hear like a lot of popping sounds, it's actually I'm using my old mic and it seems to be making those sounds whenever I just gently move my head, so I don't know.
I don't know why I did that, because he could have easily just put us back in spellbound, which I think he actually ends up doing. <coughs> oh, actually, no, he doesn't. He doesn't get a chance to. Yeah, now that I got it all healed up, I decided to just use some of his regular arts, which I probably should have just continued using um, magic, but I decided not to. And just try using basic arts instead. Which usually I wouldn't recommend doing, but oh well. I don't even know what I used there. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, yeah, that's why I let her use it. That's why. After this, we're about to get a uh, another in-battle cutscene, which is kind of cool. Hope you've been paying attention to what they say in those two, by the way. Because it is important. It'd be more interesting if it actually showed him fall to the ground, but it doesn't. Still don't know how you block magic, but oh well. Pretty much we get lucky for a while of <coughs> her not using her ability. But she will very soon. You know, throughout this whole fight we could have been getting hit by every other round like that. Usually that's usually what ends up happening. And that's what the guy in the um forums that I read said. He was like yeah, you might get unlucky and they'll just use their spell over and over and over again and then you'll be dead before you know what happened to you. Unless you have, like, you know, the Venom Cures and all that. Well, you mean, I mean, the ability that does it automatically. But, um... It's funny to me that, um... <laughs> we survived this long with that problem. And I don't think I realized that she's spellbound. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. It's funny how after you kill one of them, though, you can just, like, pretty much go all out for the most part. Kill the body. Freeze the soul. Now. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? I think this is, like, yeah, the last time she gets to use it, too. And then we finish her off after that.
Now, it wasn't really necessary for me to do this, but it's funny that I do actually go ahead and finally decide, hey, let's go ahead and heal using life heal. <laughs> Like I said, we're very close to the end here. You know, Panaceas are very nice because they heal all everything, you know, which... If I had more of them, I probably would have continued using them. Actually, here you notice that the um, audio to life heal doesn't work. I was hoping it would still come through, but no. I think that's just something with the game. Every now and then the audio fails. It's not a big deal. As in, like, you really don't notice it that badly. Yeah, this is the final round here. Like, you know, the final countdown. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sing it. But I could have. Not only that, I'd sound retarded. That's why I don't want I forgot that I had to use that. <sighs> but as I said, it's not going to be a big deal that she's going to be using that. <laughs> You'll see in a minute why. And by the way, you'll notice that when the uh, video ends, that I had actually noticed that the commentary had failed because I stopped it in the middle of a dialogue option. <coughs> but it actually hadn't have failed until that point, which is kind of funny. Basically, as I'm saying, is like if I would have stopped it 20 something minutes in, it would have been fine. But that attack took too long. Like, if I would have stopped it right here, it would have been fine. The commentary would still be here. I don't remember what I'm talking about. I think I'm just naming off all the stuff that's in this list. <coughs> Basically, they're just there. After we've pretty much beaten them to a pulp. Now, I actually did voice this in the, um, you know, um, regular commentary before it stopped, but I don't really feel like it's necessary here. And I don't know what he's talking about there. You gotta admit, this um, scene here is kind of touchy even after hating these two. <coughs> you know, it's just like, you're watching them die, of course, right? And um, Mike comes up, and is it, you can tell that he's regret regretting this immediately, which makes sense. Like, he's like, they left us no choice, we had to fight. Anyway, this is where it ends right here, so I hope you guys enjoyed my post-commentary, and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till then, bye.